Welcome back to Cage Ready Nutrition on tapoutvtc.com. I'm your host, PR Cole. My special guest is Frank Trigg. Today, we're going to be making a healthy turkey meatloaf. What, you, you, look, yeah. you look a little nervous. <laughs> well, you know, turkey burgers I get, but yeah. turkey meatloaf, I mean, I'm not real... I mean, think about it. You use ground meat, you know, for meatloaf and ground turkey. It's really similar. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but just, well, until you try it, you know, okay, just, yeah, just hold I've, your judgment. I've, yeah, I've held it out. Okay. So we have a pound of ground turkey breast here. Now, be very careful because in the markets, a pound of ground turkey could have, you know, the skin in it, the dark meat, and have a lot of fat. So ground turkey breast only is okay. going to give you that, I'll say, like 99% fat free. Is that so, why this is so pink? Is because it's all breast? Yes. That's, okay. Yes, because okay. if it's darker, sometimes it will have the skin mixed in it, and that yeah. has all that saturated bad fat in but it. Isn't that the part you're supposed to deep fry and eat later? <laughs> no? Well, maybe okay. you do, but that's not what they're supposed to do. I'm just asking. So um, half a cup of corn. We're going to add. I like to sneak in some vegetables here. That's a great way to sneak it in, too. Yes, in like exactly. I have half a cup of minced green pepper here. I put this in the Cuisinart, but you could just dice it up because it's going to get all soft in the oven anyways. Yeah, but Cuisinart's are easier, right? They, yeah, they are. It just depends. Okay. If you have one, you can use one, but if not, you don't have to. Um, half a cup of the red onion. Now, why red as opposed to any other ones? Just because? Because it's flavorful. And okay. they're, you know, slightly different nutrients. Remember we talked about different colors, mm -hmm. have different things. So the red onions have a very nice flavor for this. One cup of instant oatmeal. We're going to use this wow. instead of like breadcrumbs. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I was like, wow, really? Oh, all right. <laughs> and I have a tablespoon of minced garlic. You I could. I don't think that's enough. You don't think that's enough? No, I think you need to have like, like a half a cup of garlic <laughs> okay. or a cup of garlic. You could or... always add more garlic if you want. Um, instead of, you know, it's kind of a pain to like peel and chop garlic. So this is minced garlic that you can get out of like one of those little tin jars that you have to refrigerate mm -hmm. once you open it. And now we're going to do three quarters of a cup of fat free milk. And I know she loses a lot of fat free as opposed to skim or 2% or is it? When it comes to milk, skim or 1% is fine. You don't want to go above that. There's just too much saturated fat. With something like this where you're not really tasting the milk, I say why okay. not use the thing that has the fewest calories to save okay. yourself calories in the overall dish. You know, some people, if they're just having a glass of milk, they love the 1%. That's fine. But just go with the skim here to save okay. calories. And two egg whites. There you go. As far as seasonings go with this, the magic ingredient is going to be ground cumin. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Add a little bit of that. Oh, okay. It's a yeah. Kit. This is my style. I, have to measure it. <laughs> I get nervous asking you because I don't know what's going to happen. So about one teaspoon, if you guys like to measure, and about one teaspoon of chili powder. And I'm not even going to insult you by asking to measure anymore. <laughs> Just estimate. Okay. Uh, really? You're not going to insult me, but you're going to go, okay. All right. All right. I like my food a little spicy, so I'm going to get And a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper. Yeah, I know. I know. There you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Our, our floor is going to taste delicious <laughs> now. <laughs> there you go. Well, let's clean up the eat off. Of it, so be <laughs> and before you start cooking this, just preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Uh, this is a great thing to have around the holidays because a lot of people. Yes, you can start Sorry. mixing. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody did not turn off their phone. There you go. It happens. <laughs> this is a great thing to have around the holidays because a lot of people like turkey, but having plain old roast turkey can get kind of boring. So this is something that's easy to make. You can feed a bunch of people with it. You know, keep it in the fridge. It stays good. So once you mix that up, any kind of loaf pan that you, you know, stick. Um, you have some nonstick spray to make sure that it's not going to stick to it. And we're going to cover this, and we're going to bake it for 45 to 50 minutes. That's that looks, it? Yeah, that looks okay. good. Okay, all right. Yeah, I mean, most of the time for this is just in the oven. You're not actually doing much for the prep Well, see, work. I like that because for me, I don't get home from practice till 6.30, sometimes 7, now mm -hmm. that uh, we've changed the times over Extreme Couture. And so in my nights to cook, it's still my night to cook. Yeah. So you get home at 6.30 or 7.00. You don't want to be cooking till nine o'clock. I yeah, gotta go get in quick exactly. and get out. Exactly, and this is the type of thing that you could double this recipe, and you know, it's Sunday night, make two of these loaves, and that's gonna feed your family for okay. the next couple of days. So, I even some coal earlier. <laughs> <laughs> even it out. You know, this is the one because it's kind of thick. Maybe use the spoon to actually oh, okay. press it down because we want it, you know, nice and even. Okay, now let's keep this covered. It's also really good to serve salsa on this instead of oh, ketchup because okay. salsa has half the calories of ketchup. So, again, you're lucky. I made one already. That is See, in the, the oven. The problem is you guys at home don't realize every time I do this, I burn my hand. You know, this. Well, be very careful. <laughs> you say that every time. It doesn't quite work. And just keep an open mind. If you're not used to ground turkey, you know, it does taste a little different than the beef, but... 
Again, once you get used to it, it does make for a really nice substitute. It's way lower in fat, lower in calories. And there you go. So again, salsa is right. really good on here, even like a low calorie barbecue sauce. Do you want to go in and uh, taste that, whip that off? Tell me, All what, right, tell me is, what you think. Uh, I'm not big on greens, <laughs> I'm not big on turkey meatloaf, so let's find out how this let's, works. Let's see. The vegetables are hidden, you're not going to notice them. It's the, the cumin, it really gives it that good flavor. Two things. Two things. <laughs> One, I gotta learn to blow my food off before I eat it. <laughs> you need to cool it off. <laughs> and two, I learned to fat it's a little bit short on chili powder, because mm -hmm. I like my food just a little bit spicier. Like Other mm -hmm. than that, good consistency, it tastes good, and the corn is hidden, which is perfect <laughs> for me, because okay. I'm not a big corn guy. This is, yeah, this is nice, yeah. Good, but yeah, and like if it doesn't come out with the seasonings that you like, it's always really easy just to add more, oh, you really do like it. You got the yeah. second bite. <laughs> Add the chili powder and to it. In less than an hour prep time into the table. So yeah, exactly. Bad, and yeah. like I said, you can make two or three of these at once and then be good for the next couple days. And the serving size for this is a third of this for 350 calories. So that's a pretty good oh, wow. okay. amount of food to have. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for coming to visit us at Cage Ready Nutrition on tapoutvtc.com. And we'll see you guys next time for more healthy recipes.